Hey Vinyl Community, uh, I'm back with another video. Um, I guess you could say I have no self-control uh, when it comes to buying things alike, such as records and CDs and comic books. Because um, I said I wasn't going to buy any records, but I actually wasn't setting out to look for anything. And as you can tell by the stack here, I found some stuff. And uh, I went to one antique store over the weekend, um, only because the guy called and told me, hey, I found a couple 45s you might be interested in. I get there, he didn't tell me he had some of the LPs I was looking for too, so when I got there, I ended up spending some money, and uh, I didn't do too bad there, but today, um, I was going to go see a movie, and I uh, had some time to kill before the movie started. And I went and looked at the antique store that had uh, the Elvis records that I bought in previous videos of, I've shown. Um, and he actually, right when I walked in the door, he was like, Oh, I'm glad you're here. I got some new records I brought in. And uh, I wanted to let you see them first before I put them out. So, there's the rest of the stack here. Uh, ended up having some stuff that I was looking for. He cut me a good deal on them. Um, I got some good records that I have wanted for a while and just didn't want to pay, you know, any kind of crazy prices for or they've been too beat up to buy. But um, needless to say, I got a pretty big stack, so I'm going to thumb through them kind of fast. And uh, we'll get started here. First off in the background, I'm listening to Leon Redbone. I was just in the mood for something a little bit different. So I went with Leon Redbone here. It's a good album. Um, all right, these are the 45s. Uh, he told me I hadn't keep an eye out for anything, you know, Alice in Chains or Nirvana that came in on vinyl. And he had two 45s that came in along with a couple other ones. And uh, this is what I ended up getting. Um, Pearl Jam. It was a white label. Um, Who You Are and Habit. Got that one. Nirvana with Come As You Are and Drain You. Alice in Chains Grind and Nutshell. This one's kind of cool. The Black Crows and it's got She Talks to Angels on one side. Uh, the regular studio version and then She Talks to Angels a live version on the other side. And this was kind of neat too. Uh, Soundgarden, it's got Black Hole Sun on one side and Spoon Man on the other. I'm not sure if that was the way it was originally put out when it came out. Um, both of those being on one single together. But so that's why I picked that one up. I thought it was pretty cool. And these were the full length that he had there that I was super happy to get. I mean, Iron Maiden. Classic. Great, great. One of my all-time favorite bands. Didn't have this on vinyl. But Killers. And it's on the Harvest label. So I was happy to get that. This is an upgrade copy for sure for me. Kiss Alive 2. I've got the other copy, but it doesn't have any of the inserts with it other than just the uh, inner sleeves. And this actually has the tattoos and the poster and the whole deal. Same with this. Gene Simmons, the Kiss. I didn't have this at all. And um, this actually has the inserts with it and I was super pleased to get that and the same with this one this one still has the poster with it as well the only uh, individual record I had was Ace Freely and it doesn't have the inserts with it and uh, he had um, uh, Paul Stanley's but uh, yeah, the cover is a little bit beat up so I, I didn't grab that and it didn't have the inserts this is one I've been looking for on vinyl I got it on CD but not on vinyl Judas Priest, Sad Wings of Destiny. Cover's got a little bit of wear, but uh, it's the original label. Janice label. I was super pleased to get that. Rolling Stones, newest hit makers. Uh, it doesn't have the poster with it, unfortunately, but for some reason he had this in the dollar bin, so you can bet I grabbed that up. This one, it's a great band. I haven't heard anything off this album. 
Um, I'm, I'm hoping they didn't stray too much from the more bluesy southern rock sound that they got going. Um, I haven't listened to it yet, but y'all know that band. It's, it's Savoy Brown. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully it didn't stray too far from the la the older records. Fleetwood Mac, Mystery to Me. I was happy to get this. He had that in the dollar bin. Jess Roll Toll, A Passion Play. Also in the dollar bin. It's a not the more expensive one of the bunch. Uh, if you consider 12 bucks more expensive than 8 bucks. Um, or whatever the price says in the book. It's the least expensive one. But it's a very nice condition. David Allen Co. I've got something to say. It's got a promo stamp up in there, but had it in the dollar bin, so I grabbed that. Rufus. It's got a, a hole punch through the thing, but this is just good. Good funk stuff. Uh, a little bit of a classic rock mix to it. Those are all the ones I bought over the weekend. These are the ones I got today. Um, I took a chance on this one. Eric Quincy Tate. Don't know anything about it. Looked pretty cool. It looks like they did a couple. They did Honky Tonk Man on here. Um, as far as the cover goes. And it was from Atlanta, Georgia. So I figured I'd give it a shot. And uh, actually when I was going through these at home. Um, I put this on while I was doing that. And it's really good. Uh, it's kind of got that Savoy Brown kind of sound to it. I was really impressed with that, so I was glad I grabbed that. Grand Funk Railroad, I didn't have this one. Uh, he had two copies of this, and this was the better of the two. And as you can see, it's got some wear, but uh, it's a good album. Humble Pie, Smoking. Glad to pick that up. Jethro Tull, Aqualung, it's got the green label. Um, gatefold, I was happy to get this one. Jethro Toll, too old to rock and roll, too young to die. Also on the green label. It's happy to find that. This one, I couldn't remember if I had this one or not. Uh, and I do. This one actually is a better label than the one I have, but the cover that I have and the inner sleeve I have is in better condition than this one. So, uh... I might do a little flip flopping. We'll see. I don't know yet. And Led Zeppelin 2. This is one of the only other Led Zeppelins. Well, this one and that one. These two uh, I didn't have at all. I mean, you can see it's got some rubbing wear on it. But uh, I was happy to get that. And the same with this one. Uh, I didn't have this one. And I wanted it. And now I got it. Black Sabbath, Master of Reality. Um, he just kind of threw this one in. I already had it. And um, this is on the the Palm Tree label. So it's not the more expensive one. But he threw it in. So I was cool with it. Nazareth. Razamanaz. It's a uh, gatefold. Pretty nice condition on the inside. It's got a little bit of wear on the outside. But... Nazareth is a great band all around, so I was happy to get it. Hair of the Dog. This is an upgrade copy for me, actually. Uh, the one I got is pretty freaking rough. Ted Nugent, Cat Scratch Fever. It's the Gatefold. And it's the original pressing of this one. So I was pleased to get that. Uriah Heap, Demons and Wizards. This is one I've been looking for in better condition, and I found one. I was glad to get it. Uriah Heap, The Magician's Birthday. Um, I snagged this one up and didn't realize until I got home and opened it. Somebody had cut out a whole chunk of the freaking cover. Um, I just kind of slid out the vinyl and looked at it and didn't even open up the, the gatefold to see how the condition was on the inside of this one. And that's the nice little surprise I got with a big hole cut through it. Aerosmith featuring Dream On. I've already got this one, but this cover I believe is a little bit better than the other cover I got. So I grabbed that one. Same with this one, Cosmos Factory, Koreans Clearwater Revival. This one's actually a lot better condition than the one I got, and it still has the original inner sleeve. So I was happy to get that. 
fog hat full for full for the city good stuff I was pleased to get that one and the great society with Grace Slick good stuff here I was pleased to get that one so there's my stack of uh, records that my wife is gonna be pissed about and uh, I just I don't have any self-control I don't know what my deal is I just need to not go to these places I'm trying to save money and I don't know what my problem is so anyway it looks like I'm gonna be putting some of my CDs and some uh, other stuff on eBay so I can get some of my cash back <laughs> anyway that's what I got I appreciate it y'all take care